We talked about this last week, six pack challenge, well, five pack challenge, I guess, Hell in a Cell between every singles champion and me and the boys wrestling. Yes, 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 DDB, RMAC, POE, oh man. Cody Harris and Brent. Yes, sir. Oh, the kick to the face, like you and DDB have some unfinished business. <laughs> just straight in the corner, just unleash it. Ronald. DDB is a nasty competitor. We're going to get another look at him tonight as he defends the 12K title against Dr. Volcano. Oh, oh, to the mush. But it seems like the, uh, you know, the champions aren't on every episode because they're the champion. They're a special attraction. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, it doesn't feel fair. Springboard moonsault. My James on to DDB. James yeah. going for a weapon. Early. We're getting smacked around. Cody Harris just jaw broke him. And there's a chair. Ladies and gentlemen, seat for one. Also, Ooh. Oh, also along the lines of Factions Be Damned, which we're talking more and more about here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keeps popping up. Nice. You don't want to get stopped by those big boots. Cody Harris and Ronald McDonald just got Brent on the ground. Oh, well, Brent reverses. Should I get screwed to me, Cody Harris? A DVD <laughs> picks up Ronald and a uh, rope choke. A rope choke. Uh oh. Oh, dragon screwing me behind on the chair. Ronald, no slouch in there as he's displayed over the last couple of weeks. The spring, the, the shooting star press got reversed by the means. Called out, basically, by DMP of the Hellfire Club. And uh, ever since he's been called out, he's been on fire. Yeah. Same with Mario, actually. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, James just corrected that low blow shot, but got picked up onto the shoulders <laughs> of Cody Harris, who doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do with me up there. DDB socks another... Oh, come oh. on, man. Definitely the dirtiest player here, me and the boys wrestling. Danger Boy Dana Boyle, punching low. Oh, I... okay. Cody Harris really seems to have an issue with me. <laughs> I can't quite figure out why. He doesn't like me. That's a shame. You're not that bad of a person. Here comes Brent. Brent will help me up. Yes, sir. Look at that. Here comes Ronald. And I was grabbing Brent. See, look at that. Brent helped me up. Oh. A good guy. Here comes Danger Boy Dana Boyle to get into the mix. You're a good Oh, oh shoes are tight. Cody Harris down. Down and stunned over on the other side of the ring. DDD takes. Oh, drops it. Uh, I'm not to that story. Nobody's left in the ring. Except the rest. Oh, there he goes. To the rope. To the rig. To the cage. Cody Harris back up and into the mix now. Oh, could you imagine that? That was a fail. That was a fail. That should have been a double suplex. Yep. Someone with the caliber of Cody Harris grabbed someone like Ronald McDonald who has someone like DDB. Oh my oh. god. Through the cage. Ronald McDonald was just spilled out of the cage. The, even the cage couldn't contain the action here, me and the boys wrestling. Well, these are our five champions, the top tier talent. Absolutely. And me and the boys wrestling, but I find that once the cage is open. Uh oh. Oh, who knows what's going to happen. Okay. Or if we'll be able to see it. <laughs> Drop kick to the back. <laughs> Last week there was a situation where uh, there was some action going on at the top of the cage and uh, they cut away to a sleeper hold of all moves in the middle of the ring and uh, just as a move was hit on the top rope, we're pretty sure it was Dr. Volcano power bombing or something, Ross Bruce threw the cage all the way down to the floor because the match was over after that. Rock of by bone breaker. But we didn't get to see it because they cut away to a sleeper hole. Well, they've already shown that they're cutting away to the more impactful moves because that rock of by backbreaker. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, what, what's going on? We're just looking for some cardio. Climbs up the cage, but thinks better of it. Drops down, now he's going to climb back up the cage. Yeah, you're just showing them how you do. You know what I mean? <laughs> the footholes are over here. Oh, 
Not long. Found it. And the POE. Ooh, that's close now. Me and the Boys Wrestling is sponsored by www.420dna.com because if it's in you, it should be on you. Just like it's on us. Oh, as well as HoldenRoadsCoffee.com. Snapdragon and Buttercups. He just power slammed the snap out of him. Why did you let DDT just? I got it. Ronald McDonald in the ring with Cody Harris. Like, who would have thought that would be the phrase that we'd be seeing in this? Mm-hmm. The fifth season? Yes. It's more and more often I'm saying things I never thought I'd say. Like a few weeks ago, I think it was at Eve of Challengers when uh, Holden Rhodes and Mr. Miyagi used the Bushwhacker battering ram to bloody and knock out uh, one of the members of Crooked Control. Yes. <laughs> Two count on Cody Harris in the ring on DVD. Oh, uh, you're just oh oh the float even float over. Oh man. The, the, the chair with Ronald. Ronald with the chair. Ronald with the chair. Oh, oh. The only place you're gonna see that kind of action. The most random and vicious and brutal. Ronald McDonald smacking Danger Boy Dana Boyle around with a chair. You're only gonna see that oh, here. Oh god. No. No. Oh, he's stunned, but he did not go through the cage. Ronald McDonald's in the sharpshooter. Oh, no, that's not to say he won't go through this time. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder has the POE. Oh, right on the brace. We just keep hitting the studs. Oh, oh no. It's not good. Jeez. Wow. Cody Harris really going to work on Ronald McDonald. Those, those fucking smackings. Cody Harris just hit the Canadian spike on that clown. Three, Cody Harris is the winner. Everybody just... Wow, when you leave the pinning surface, <laughs> you're not in a good spot to win the match. No. Look at there, Danger Boy Dana Boyle putting himself in a good spot to win the match. Yeah. Here's another strong replay from 2K22. Yeah. Definitely. You see, that one replay could have been a power bomb. The other one could have been your, your rockabye backbreaker. Yeah. Literally anything that happened on top of the cage. Literally. Cody Harris, though, showing why he's the big champ here at Me and the Boys Wrestling. So last week we were we did Stroop versus Atami in a table match to see who was going to take on Cody Harris one on one because Stroop is still owed a one on one table match. Elvisera is also owed a match, and since Atami technically won that match last week, he's also owed a shot. That's a lot of shots. So I think we're going to have to do a four way okay. title match, or we could call it the shot, 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 shot for shots. Yeah. 